Organization is an important part of biology. Cells are organized into tissues, tissues are organized into organs, organs make up organisms, and organisms come together to make groups and communities. Let's find out what you know about how life is organized, and maybe learn some new things along the way. In three, two, one. Some insects live in organized groups called colonies. Which of the following insects form colonies? Fire ants, honeybees, houseflies. Fire ants often live in colonies with up to 400,000 ants. Honeybee hives often contain up to 100,000 bees. Houseflies don't live in colonies, but sometimes are found together around food. But insects aren't the only type of organism that can live in large groups. Bracken Cave, located near San Antonio, Texas, is home to more than 20 million Mexican free-tailed bats. Some animals can grow to a very large size. Which of the following is the largest animal to have ever lived on Earth? An African elephant, a blue whale, a titanosaur dinosaur. Scientists think that blue whales are the largest animals to have ever lived on Earth. They can weigh up to 400,000 pounds. That's twice as big as the largest known dinosaur and more than 25 times bigger than an African elephant. But the largest organism to have ever lived on Earth isn't an animal. Scientists think it could be an aspen tree located in Utah called the pando. The pando looks like a forest of trees, but it's actually a single organism. What looks like separate trees are stems that are all connected underground. Scientists think all of those stems started out from a single seed. The pando covers over 100 acres of land, has more than 40,000 stems, and weighs almost 13 million pounds. Organs, like leaves, are made up of millions of cells. Cells are made up of tiny parts called organelles. Some plant cells have an organelle called the chloroplast. Chloroplasts use sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water to make sugar. What else do chloroplasts make? Oxygen, light, pollen. Chloroplasts make oxygen that we can breathe. This is a picture of the Barents Sea between Russia and Norway. The swirls of blue and green are made of billions of tiny organisms called phytoplankton. All phytoplankton have chlorophyll and carry out photosynthesis. That means they make oxygen. When conditions in the ocean are just right, phytoplankton can reproduce very quickly. That huge group of phytoplankton is called a bloom. Most of the oxygen that we breathe comes from these tiny organisms that live in the ocean. To continue answering questions and learning more about science, visit ixl.com science.